They believe. also believe that he's God, yes. All Christians believe yeah, Jesus yeah, is God. Yeah, yeah. Not even all. the Mormon, not even all, the... Not all, not all. Unitarians don't. There's some they, they denomination is called Unitarian. I haven't Unitarian. spoken to Unitarian, brother. Yeah, you get them coming here. Anyways, go and ask me. What yeah, yeah, so, so um, Jesus is God, you say. The Holy Spirit is God. And the Father is God. Jesus, they're all the same. One, one God, yeah. Yeah, they're all the same though, same. So, but Jesus is begotten, right? John 3.16, for God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. But Jesus was there before the creation. Uh, I know, but he's begotten, you say. You don't say he's begotten? When, when you say begotten, oh. meaning the word became flesh through Mary, remember? No, that's the John 1.1, 1, 1. in the, the beginning word, was the word, the word yeah, became... Yeah, yeah. The, the word became flesh. Uh -huh. So yeah. when you say begotten, he no, just got the flesh. No. That, that doesn't mean that Jesus started to exist from There's that. a monogenous, that it comes from the nature of God. Mm. They share the same nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, meaning he was begotten. That's what they mean. He means he Sam, was... Sam, hey, hey, this is not going to be long, bro. They, they say that he's eternally begotten. Have you heard that before? Eternally begotten. Eternally begotten. He, Not incarnated. He exists, exists You're talking before. about incarnation. When they become flesh, this is uh, called incarnation. incarnation. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying begotten. He existed before, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, begotten means that the Father begot Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah, from his nature, Jesus was begotten. Do you okay, know that? Go on, go on. Yeah, and they say that the Spirit is preceded. You know this? Or aspirated? Uh, different Christians believe different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what go church on. are you? What church is I don't have a denomination. Okay, so usually they say the Spirit is sent. If Jesus is begotten, that means he's dependent on the Father, right? He wouldn't exist without the Father. Because the Father from his essence begot the Son, right? That's why he's the Father, that's yeah, why he's the Son. Go on, go on. So Jesus is dependent on the Father. And the Spirit is sent by Jesus, and some say Jesus, sorry, some say the Father, some say the Father and Jesus. So the spirit is dependent yeah, on the this Jesus. Says Father sent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It says Jesus is dependent on the Son mm. and the Father. That means the spirit is dependent on two. Jesus is dependent only on the Father, whereas the Father is not dependent of any of them. Well, it says in the verse in John. Do you see the problem I'm, I'm pointing out, though? It's the way you put it. No problem. No, this is the creed, the Christian creed, the Nicene yeah, yeah, creed. Yeah, but listen, the one thing. Uh, there's a verse in John yeah. where it says that for the Son can only do what the Father does. Yeah, yeah. That's right. The Son does what I of my own will call, yeah. His Father. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that means that Jesus can do everything that God yeah. can do. Yeah. You understand? Uh, well, does it, it no, says, no, I'm saying according to the Bible. I'm no, I mean, I mean, be to the Bible. If you want me, I, I can show you. Yeah, the verse. I can show you. He said, by my own will, I can do nothing. And then 73. Yeah, yeah read it. And then 75, he says what? Go on, read it. I'll show you. He says, of my own authority, I can do nothing. There you go, for the Sunday. There you go, brother. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just gave them this answer. Yeah. The son the can do nothing by himself. Yeah. He can only do what he sees his father doing because whatever the father does, the son also does. Mm. What does that mean? So if God can do divine so, things, uh, Jesus can also do divine things. Okay, so God begot the son. Can the son begot another son? I don't understand you, brother. So if the son can do what the father can do, because the son, the father, God created Jesus. He begot Jesus. Can now Jesus beget another son? We don't believe that God created Jesus. No. Jesus was there from the You believe he's begotten. Do you know the word begotten? I, mean, I only I only understand it as became flesh when he when he was born from Mary. No, that's incarnation. Yeah. That's it becomes flesh. But, yeah, but when that's it says begotten, it means that part. No. That's not but no, no. Because Jesus was there from the beginning. Let me yeah, start. eternally begotten. Check it. Uh, anyways, for the Father loves the Son and shows him all he does, yeah? Yeah. He, okay, one moment. Let me show you one, one more. And thing. you know this gospel? The gospel writer doesn't believe that Jesus is the God. You know this? Glorify. Brother, there's a lot of speculations. Yeah. Like there would be in Quran and Hadith, you know? No, no, but we're talking. Let's engage, isn't it? So let me show you another one where Jesus was there before. Here you go. What does it say? Glorify your son. Yeah. That your son may glorify you. 
glorify your son, it was his earnest plea that the father would grant him the power. Wait, one second. I thought it was the verse, but it was somebody's opinion. One, one second, brother. Okay. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. Right? One second. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given. So no mere prophet can give eternal life to okay. people. Okay. One second. Now this eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. One second is five. I there. Internet is bad over here. I was here. No, it's all right. It's mine. It's all right. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you have given me to do and fulfill this purpose. One second. There we go. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Jesus was there before the world began. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I don't so can a prophet be like that though? Yeah, of course. It says in the Bible that I knew you before you were born. That God says in the Bible. No, no, no. no. Let's it just, says Jesus let's, yeah, sure, sure. before sure. the world well, began. Well, well, well let's, let's take everything that you said if, you, if you've got time. Yeah? Yeah, no, if you look at John 17. Bible, clear no, no, it's not, it's not. This is what I was trying to engage with you. You you said John 13 and this is what you you skipped over. No, it no, says, I, read, I, read, I read from No, 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 I know, but you didn't understand it. That's what I'm saying. You didn't focus on it. You skipped I over. I read it a lot of time, brother. I, I know, but read it. Jesus defined eternal life. You mentioned eternal life. Jesus mentions it. This is he, eternal, he life. eternal life. Yeah, yeah. He says, this is eternal life. He never gives it. Read it. This is eternal life. That they may know you. Jesus is saying you, not me. The only true that you, God. Yeah, the only, the only true God. What and is only true God? Mean? Wait, 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 the and Jesus Christ, who uh, He has sent. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? Now. What does do you say understand? after? Yes. Who gives the eternal life? Uh, you're missing the. I think you're Who missing. Who gives it. the eternal life? Uh, God gives eternal life. He said it's eternal life that you should know the one true God. The For Father and in no, no, life, yeah, in who? It's in eternal Jesus. that you should know. No, it's not what it says. Look, read this brother, read again. If you want to look, know look, the look, Christian look. doctrine, look, uh, you have to look, look. accept Jesus' sacrifice. No, no. Let's take one step at a yeah, time. I read it. I read it. I know it's eternal life. He never said I give you eternal life. This is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Do you understand? Okay. Jesus is different from the one true God. Are you following the logic? Yeah, now? I understand. Yeah, yeah. And whom he has sent. From your perspective, this is something close to the Shahada. I know, I know. Yeah. But it's wrong the way you think. Because later on it says, yeah. glorify me in your presence. Mm. The, which the glory which I had with you. So who I, gave I was, him the glory? Wait, I was one yeah. with you. No, no, no. Before it's, it's the world. No, no. The no. glory I had with you before the world began. No, no, this is not what I mean. You understand? No, no. It, this verse I, is very I, I'll, clear. I'll explain to you. No, no. I'll explain to you. They believe in Christian theology. You believe in incarnation. You believe that Jesus existed before the creation. Yeah. In John 1, and then, 1. And then one, so John 1, yeah. yeah. In the, so it's in the beginning was the local. And the Logos was this God, and he, it was a God. Now you go to original Greek, it doesn't say the God, there's a difference. And John himself, the author of that gospel, he doesn't believe Jesus is God. He's the one that says it's eternal life that you should know the one true God and Jesus Christ. Um, Look, brother, I'm a bit in a hurry. Let me give you a better answer. Yeah, sure. That you, you would have no nothing to comment yeah. on. You understand? If you may think no, that, no, no, yeah, no, one thing uh, outside the Bible. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I feel God when I pray, mm. and He's shown me a lot of a lot of things in my life. Like what? You, you understand? Like what? I don't have time right now, but mm. I have a relationship with yeah. Him. You yes. don't. But you no, you have a midway. No, you, say you that can't say. Uh, you can't say. I, I, Does Allah I don't speak have a, to you? You can't say. Does Allah you, you speak to you? This is Kalam Allah. I'm telling you, very responsible. This yeah, is Kalam Allah. Yeah. This is the speech of Allah. It's sent down to every single human. You repeat you know it saying? five times. Yeah, yeah, Al-Fatiha, no, right? No, five times. Al-Fatiha, more than five times. Yeah, yeah. But listen. We don't have a middleman. We don't need sacrifice or human sacrifice. We go straight to Allah. We we pray to Allah. Woman Allah. Who is more misguided than the one who calls to other than Allah? To someone that will not answer him. Uh, and Allah he goes uh, to the day of judgment. Jesus won't answer you. Brother, what's your name? Uh, Hamza. Hamza. Uh, it's a short conversation. Uh, I'll same. be here next Sunday. Yeah, next come, come next Sunday. Check out the meaning of what begotten means. Maybe we could. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. But I was trying to say the relationship I have with him 
even if you tear the Bible like this, yeah, yeah. and there's no more, yeah, yeah. there's nothing that can take the place yeah. away from my heart. What I've felt, what I've been through in life. Yeah, many people say this though. Many I've people had say personal yeah. stuff. Yeah, everyone says it. Yeah, everyone says it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, a lot of them, by, by the you way, know. What a contradiction. His name is Paul and he's a Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, well, you do have never say, in the never say never. Never say never. Yeah, you. take care of yourself. Yeah. I used to be a Christian like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all experience. It's yeah, yeah. It's not based on facts. I know.